Kamala Harris's pick of Minnesota Governor Tim Walz as her running mate is creating a lot of political buzz, even in conservative parts of the state. Many people that we spoke with in Laverne, Minnesota today, a Republican stronghold, were caught off guard by Walls selection. But once the surprise wore off, some voters think that it's a good pick. You know, now that I think about it, it might be a pretty good thing. I don't know. I just, I know it's tough times and it's kind of scary. Other Minnesotans that we spoke with say that Walsh should not be on the Democratic ticket, saying that he's too liberal, especially on issues like abortion. The leader of the South Dakota Democratic Party is pleased with the pick. Tonight, we have some reaction from him and a political scientist. 60-year-old Minnesota Governor Tim Walls is a former teacher, National Guardsman, and congressman. Now, he could be the next vice president of the U.S., Dan Allers is the executive director of the South Dakota Democratic Party. He calls the selection of Walls a great pick. I think as a Midwesterner, um, what's not to be excited about? He's a governor who grew up in a small rural town, shares a lot of the same values that we have. Michael Card is an emeritus professor of political science at the University of South Dakota. He thinks Walls's Midwestern roots and experience with rural issues may have helped him get selected by the Harris campaign. He's not from the West Coast. He's not going to be classified as an East Coaster, which I sort of hear vacillations about Vice President Harris as a candidate being an elitist. Does it matter who your vice presidential running mate is? It matters if they're a problem. As near as we can tell from, from looking at vice presidential candidates over the years, if there's an identifiable problem, they can be a problem for the campaign. They tend not to add much. Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. And we asked Republican Governor Kristi Noem about her views on the VP selection today while she made a stop in Sturgis. He has been anti-freedom. In fact, he's been a governor that, as the CEO of his state, mandated um, to his people, told them what to do, took away their freedoms, took away their businesses. Um, he's an extremist, and it's going to be probably the most left um, socialist ticket party or ticket that we've seen running for president in the United States. Governor Noam and Wall served in Congress together before they both became governors.